Hello, and welcome back. We're back in the main base. I have built some wall. There you are at the top. Um, and it is clearing out biters above and below the line of the wall, as and when it gets refueled. There's a boom train going up there now. Brilliant. Uh, so that's all fine. Back here at the main base, we have a bit of an issue though. So we are putting out pretty much a full line of greens. Some of it's getting taken off for production. The rest is heading down the research bus, which is fine. That's what it's meant to do. So it thins out, thins out, thins out. And then here we are, only keeping two of the four um, speed module machines going, which means that we are low on, well, all this stuff. And that's slowing down our, our launch rate. Okay. We've got a similar problem with steel. So um, there's only enough steel coming in to keep a few of these machines running. Right, what do steel and um, circuits have in common? Well, it's actually, this is the answer down here. Right, so the circuits are going into making satellites. Periodically, the steel is going into making satellites. And because the base was ratioed out quite carefully, this extra draw is enough to um, basically kill performance. So, what can we do? The obvious thing is to add in another line of green circuits. So let's head back to where the green circuits are made. Here we are. We have already added one, two, three speed beacons. So each of these, yeah, is being hit by three speed beacons. We could probably squeeze a fourth one in, but it's starting to feel like this is the wrong build for now. And I'm wondering if we can squeeze in here either a second copy of this and bring in two lines of blue circuits, or we could go to a 12 beacon build. So what we're going to do is start to mock up what a 12 beacon build might look like. Um, I'm just going to take a quick look at what's being killed. Okay, so I think it's okay for now. Might have to run up there at some point because that would cut off the whole of the wall. Okay, so um, let's start trying to mock something up. And part of the constraint is it needs to actually fit. So we'd be looking, let's do a standard, let's do a, a cage, a bit like that, okay. So we can fit five in easily, six if needed. Um, and my inventory is all full up of the wrong stuff now because, you know, that's what I've been doing. Um, okay, so let's take one of those. And one of those. Okay, and we'll stick a couple of stack inserters between them. Um, and this is going to have some, some output, obviously. So what we're looking at is building a cage of beacons around these. Because I've got a feeling that if we do that, by the time we've made two of these, we've built a belt. Whoops. So let's see what this what the speed of this is when it gets built. And for now, I will power the whole thing up with a substation. There we are. We may have to move that substation later. And we can possibly move in the beacons closer and, you know, just generally move things around. Okay, so let's ask Max Rate Calculator
There we are. So this is producing 17 greens a second with um, not quite enough blue circuits. Sorry, not quite enough copper cable. Um, so is that a problem? I don't know. So this isn't going to produce... So 17 would be almost 20, which is almost a half a belt. But perhaps this isn't quite the way to go. Can we fit in any extra beacons? That's the. That's always a good question to ask. So, each of these has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things around it. Is there a way to do it with eleven? Take my blueprint. So I could put one there, but then that wouldn't touch. And I could offset them, but then I'm not sure that would actually get me an extra one in. I think we'll have to go with 10 for now and see what we can do with this. This is still a big improvement on what we have. So um, let's take a blueprint of that. And kill it. There we go. Then um, put it back down that way. Then we could put a second stamp there later on. We would be bringing, we want to match up the, the inputs and outputs, I think. So we would be, ah, I don't have any of the things because I've trashed them. Right, I want a blue splitter. I want a stack of blue belts. don't have any on me. Come on logistics, where are you? There are 50 on their way apparently. Here we are. Okay. Okay, so we would want something like So this is the, I don't think we need, I'm not really designing for UPS, I'm just designing for it working, so. Okay, so we're gonna pull off copper. And how much copper does this need? Because that's gonna tell us, it needs 30 in a second, so that should be fine with a single stack inserter. Can we get that out? No, we can't. So I'm, I'm going to need this piece of belt. Okay, then we're going to do something similar with the iron. At the moment, iron's coming in the far side. Do I want to bring it in that, or do I want to bring it in the same side? I think I want to bring it in the same side. I'm just thinking about where the green circuit's going to go out. And the green circuits can go out the middle. The problem with that is I'm going to fill up the belt very quickly. Um, Wow. 
Well, let's bring it in for now. Right, so that's taking in there. So then we need to put circuits out somewhere. Okay. Let's try something like this. It's a bit spaghetti. Ah, oh, no, that's not going to work. There's not enough room here. Um, so I, I really want to output like that. The problem is if I output there, then um, all my output is going onto one side of the belt. And I, of course, I can't remember which side is which. Um, and that's not going to work very well. So that would be the sort of deal there. However, if I'm, can I move these? Yeah, I can move these over one. Let's take those and let's put them down one further out. Okay, so then we could have a second export. Um, let's not even have that there. So then that's loading on both sides of the belt. Okay, so that should be supplying a number of red belt, uh, a number of green circuits, sorry. If we blueprint that, then we could in principle put a second stamp and just hook up the undergrounds and see if that consumes. Yeah, and then how many of these could we fit here? So one, two, three, then there's room for more below. So I think this is our, our plan. I'm just gonna cut off the inputs for a second. All right, let's trash some lasers. I've got a, a pocket full of lasers. those inputs. Right, and I'll be back in a minute. 